technology and livelihood education, agriculture and fishery arts for grade 8. Our topic is, Background of Agriculture and its Relation to Fisheries, Quarter 2, Week 1. to learn we're diving into TLE it's your turn technology livelihood education so bright come on let's make it fun everything feels right The following are the objectives of this lesson. Aquaculture and fisheries are vital to food production, economic growth, and environmental sustainability. Every fish consumed, seaweed product used, or maintained pond and coastal area results from systematic processes long before reaching the public. Aquatic resources are bred, cultivated, and managed through established practices that ensure food supply, generate employment, and support the economy. While communities once relied mainly on rivers, lakes, and oceans for fish, aquaculture now makes it possible to cultivate fish, shellfish, and seaweed in controlled environments, ensuring a steady supply of aquatic products while conserving natural resources. This lesson introduces the concepts, systems, and career opportunities in aquaculture and fisheries, highlighting their importance to food security, livelihood, and sustainable development. The following are the content area vocabulary, aquaculture, the farming of fish, shellfish, and seaweeds in controlled environments such as ponds, cages, or tanks, fishery, the activity of catching and managing fish and other aquatic resources from natural waters like rivers, lakes, and oceans. Wharf, a platform or structure beside the water where fishing boats dock to load, unload, and transfer fish and supplies, brackish water, Water that forms when freshwater from rivers or lakes mixes with saltwater from the sea. Hatchery, a facility where eggs of fish or poultry are artificially incubated and hatched for commercial production. Fecundation, also known as fish fertilization, occurs either externally, when eggs and sperm are released into the water, or internally, when fertilization takes place inside the female's body. Background of aquaculture and its relation to fisheries. Aquaculture, also known as fish farming, is the controlled cultivation of fish, shellfish, and aquatic plants. It has been practiced for thousands of years. Historical records show that fish culture started in China, where net making and methods were developed as early as 2953 BC. Over time, aquaculture spread to other parts of the world, such as Rome and Japan, where people experimented with raising fish, seaweeds, and even pearls. Aquaculture in the Philippines, which began with traditional milkfish ponds during the Spanish colonial period, has grown into a major industry that supports the nation's food supply, economy, and employment. As one of the world's top producers of seaweeds, tilapia, shrimp, and milkfish, it provides affordable protein for Filipinos while contributing to exports and livelihoods. Despite challenges such as environmental issues, water pollution, and climate change, aquaculture remains vital and continues to advance through modern technologies and government support, securing its role in the country's fisheries sector. Fisheries, on the other hand, refer to activities related to catching or farming aquatic organisms for food, livelihood, and trade. Fisheries can be divided into two major types, capture fisheries. Harvesting fish from their natural habitats such as oceans, rivers, and lakes. And, aquaculture fisheries. 
raising fish and other aquatic organisms in managed systems like ponds, cages, or tanks. The two are closely related because aquaculture is considered a branch of fisheries. While capture fisheries depend on natural stocks, aquaculture helps provide a more sustainable and reliable source of aquatic products. With the global demand for seafood increasing and natural fish populations under pressure, aquaculture has become an essential partner of fisheries in ensuring food security, generating income, and promoting sustainable resource use. The following are the comparison table of aquaculture and fisheries. Fish culture in the Philippines In the Philippines, there is no historical record of when fish pond cultivation first began. It is believed that the earliest fish ponds were introduced by Malay settlers long before Chinese traders arrived in the country. Navotas and Malabon are regarded as the principal towns that pioneered the fish pond industry in the Philippines. Dr. Pio Valencia is recognized as the pioneer of fish culture in the Visayas, while Taleva is noted for pioneering oyster culture in the country. Scientific fish farming in the Philippines is said to have started with experiments on milkfish culture in 1940. During the 1960s, improved methods of milkfish culture were applied. To further support the industry, national and international research institutions were established in the early 1970s. Among the leading aquaculture research centers today are the following. The government has also established model fish farms throughout the country to provide technical assistance to fish culturists. Some of these serve as hatcheries and nurseries, distributing fingerlings to local fish farmers. Freshwater species cultured include tilapia, carp, catfish, mudfish, and gurami. In brackish water ponds, milkfish and prawns are the most important species raised, while marine species culture is still experimental with few varieties reared in ponds and pens. The types of aquaculture system, aquaculture uses different systems, or ways, of raising fish and other aquatic organisms. Each system has its own method, depending on the environment, the type of fish, and the resources available. First, is the pond culture, fish are raised in man-made or natural ponds. This is one of the most common methods in the Philippines, especially for milkfish or bangus and tilapia. Next is the cage culture. Fish are kept in cages or nets placed in rivers, lakes, or coastal waters. The fish can grow in their natural environment while being safely enclosed. Raceway or the flow-through systems. Fish are raised in long, shallow channels where fresh water continuously flows. This system is good for fish that need more oxygen, like trout. The recirculating aquaculture systems, or RAS. Fish are grown in tanks where the water is filtered, cleaned, and reused. It is modern, space-saving, and environmentally friendly, but can be costly. The Integrated Multitrophic Aquaculture, or IMTA, different species are farmed together, such as fish, shellfish, and seaweeds. Waste from one species becomes food for another, making it eco-friendly and efficient. Each of these systems helps provide food, jobs, and income while also supporting the fishery sector. Choosing the right system depends on the type of fish, the location, and the available resources. Career and business opportunities related to fisheries Fisheries and aquaculture provide many opportunities for work and business. Some focus on raising fish, while others are involved in selling, handling, or studying them. Careers in fisheries The aquaculturist Manages fish farms to make sure fish are healthy, properly fed, and raised in the right conditions. The fishery technician Provides technical help in breeding fish, testing water quality, and checking fish growth. The fish farm caretaker looks after daily farm activities such as feeding fish, cleaning ponds, and monitoring water. The fish farm aid or worker helps in everyday tasks like harvesting, preparing feeds, and maintaining nets or cages. 
The fishery facilities repair and maintenance worker, repairs and maintains ponds, tanks, cages, and other aquaculture equipment. The research officer, studies fish species, feeds, and water systems to improve aquaculture practices. The Fisheries Resources Protection Group The conduct research aimed at advancing knowledge and improving practices within the aquaculture industry. The fish wharf operator oversees the unloading, storage, and selling of fish at wharfs or ports where fishing boats dock. The Business Opportunities in Fisheries The fisheries industry offers a wide range of business opportunities, from breeding and growing fish in farms to distributing, supplying, handling, and trading seafood products. Each role, whether as a farm owner, distributor, supplier, handler, or trader, that contributes to bringing safe and fresh fish from producers to consumers while supporting livelihood and economic growth. First is the fish farm owner for hatchery, nursery, and grow out. A fish farm owner manages a fish farm where fish are bred, raised, and grown until they are ready for harvest. The fish distributor. A fish distributor delivers fish and seafood from suppliers to customers like markets, restaurants, and stores. The fish supplier. A fish supplier provides fish and seafood to different buyers such as restaurants, markets, and distributors. The fish handler. A fish handler takes care of fish products by cleaning, packaging, and making sure they are safe and fresh during transport. The fish trader. A fish trader are those who buys and sells fish for business. They get fish from suppliers, set prices, and sell them to markets, restaurants, and consumers. These careers and businesses show how fisheries are more than just catching fish. It also includes farming, science, handling, trading, and even entrepreneurship, all of which support food security and livelihoods. Aquaculture and fisheries play a vital role in society by ensuring a steady supply of nutritious food, especially fish and seafood, which are staple sources of protein. They also create jobs for farmers, traders, and workers, giving many people a source of livelihood. Beyond food and employment, these industries boost the economy through local trade and exports, making them essential for both community development and national growth. Listen to this short story and answer the questions in Activity 3. In a small coastal town in the Philippines, fisheries play an important role in people's lives. Mang Ramon, a dedicated fish farm owner, manages a small fish farm where he raises tilapia and milkfish. He makes sure his hatchery produces healthy fingerlings. To help him, he employs Diego, a hard-working fish farm caretaker who feeds the fish daily and cleans the ponds. Marie Tess, a skilled fishery technician, visits the farm regularly to test the water quality and check if the fish are growing properly. Nearby, Rosa works as a fish distributor. She collects fresh harvests from farms like May Ramones and delivers them to restaurants and local markets. To keep the fish fresh, Enzo, a careful fish handler, cleans and packages the products before transport. At the fish port, Luisa Reliable Fish Wharf Operator supervises the unloading of fish from boats and organizes their storage. Dr. Santos, a dedicated research officer, studies new ways to improve fish feeds and water systems so that fish farms can be more productive and sustainable. Together these careers and businesses create jobs, provide food, and contribute to the town's economy show, wing how fisheries go beyond catching fish and open doors for science, farming, trade, and entrepreneurship.
This is Teacher Mylene. Thank you for watching and please subscribe to my YouTube channel.